Alright, it's time for another free fan-made game released. Obviously, you might guess what game inspired this one, right? Just like the previous one was easy to guess what inspired that. So this is Mega Man 2.5D. Entirely, you know, a free game inspired by the Mega Man game. Um, so... First off, the thing is that this game is, uh, I'm looking at, you can see here, but I'm looking at uh, the afterburner stats, it's not using any real VRAM, like maybe 300 megabytes, something like that, so, you know, it would be pretty much running on any graphics card that has like 2 gig or more of VRAM, uh, utilization is 10% of my RTX 3070 here in the menu, we'll see what it is when I get into the game. Um, it is using one of my CPU cores to about 100%, pretty much you super single threaded game, but probably should run pretty decent on uh, anything that are mid-tier. Uh, my Ryzen 5600X it has no problems. The port gamepad, but to get it to run you need to go into the controls and you need to assign it. And there's also something wrong with the scaling or something, you can see all the way to the right, it shows my settings. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with that, but uh, yeah, here I can see this one at least. I can see the music mode I'm using. Um, yeah, but for some reason I have to press right. Okay, there we go. You press right, and then there we go. And then apply. Okay, that's good. So, let's do the remix. Uh, this is default, should be default values. Let's keep them at default. Hopefully they are default, I don't know. Maybe they are... Let's do that. Hopefully this is the fall. Um, okay, video. Now, so when I first booted this game up, I could not see the resolutions or anything. I could not see uh, nothing. I had to do this in the blind, but it's working now. That's good. Okay, good, good. But uh, you can there, you can see there is some problems again. Like I can't see <laughs> something with the scaling is a little bit off. I can't see. Because you have to do this and you have to map to your uh, control before the controller will work. You have to go in here and go through all of this and map them to your controller. Then your controller will work, hopefully. Now let's get into the game. So this is a fan made. It's not Mega Man 1, it's not 2, 3 or any Mega Man. It's a completely new Mega Man game. Um, quick select E-Tank on. Right, you have a button to quickly... Use your E tank, that's nice. So let's see, let's go single player. It's only local co op, I believe. Uh, let's do a new game. So easy, remove some pits, adds pits, adds enemies, and pits. Uh, let's try the normal difficulty. And you have this little screen selector here. Uh, you can see the guy in the middle, uh, Mega Man in the middle here, following. I don't know which you are supposed to go for. I'm just gonna try one. I've tried this one before, so I'm gonna do the same here. Oh, you have different one. Who, who, what's, who's this one? I've only tried the Mega Man, so this uh, character here I haven't tried to make sure everything's working. Um. Okay. So I can see that we are still... Yeah. It is one core that is being utilized 100%. Single threaded, still using the same VRAM. It hasn't changed or anything like that. So very lightweight game to drive. It, lock, it is locked to 60 frames per second. I've tried this and this works great with lossless scaling, the frame interpolation mode in that. Um, 
This is the quick menu. Right, I have nothing more. Yeah. Oops. So you can see that this has like this uh, kind of you have uh, this. It, it I would say it looks like the the NES emulator for VR that takes classic games and kind of put them in kind of a 3D space. You have a 2D background or multiple background kind of. You have this kind of 3D looking thing that you are standing on and your character is 2.2D it's a very interesting style here we effect so graphically i think it is really nice you have a slide that you can utilize by pressing down and jump Uh, yeah, down and jump, you slide. Uh, it would be nice to have an auto-fire kind of thing in the game. I don't know if you're gonna get a shard shot or not. Don't have it l right now, but yeah, an auto-fire would have been nice. That's a lucky. This is a random that drops. So getting a life there is a very lucky, lucky drop. But yeah, I like the graphical style. It looks very, very stylish looking here. If you want to capture this uh, in OBS, I had to use window capture. Uh, normal game capture did not seem to work. Uh, can I... Oops, let's not. I wanted to check something. Do... Do this quick. It's running on Direct 3D9. That could be why it's uh, difficult for OBS to capture it. But yeah, window capture seems to working. It looks pretty smooth. Uh, in OBS window. So the spikes there are insta death, so you hit them, you die. Okay. But yeah, again, this I d did run this with lossless scaling, and it worked great. Get a little bit of extra smoothness up to 120. Uh, but right now, for compatibility, uh, I decided to not use that because hmm, I wanted to. I wanted to be able to see that recording was working all right. And audio levels and everything. Oops. It is a simple graphic, but it is uh, it has a nice charm to it. Um, I'm sure it would have been uh, could have been fun with just fine or you know very very nice and good playable with just normal 2D too. But I, this is very nice, charming. I'm guessing uh, you need some kind of ability to get that E tank. We are coming up to a boss, and I've played. This is the only thing that I've I've gotten to the boss on in this game to make sure everything was working, 
Uh, and I did not finish this boss. This boss was rough. This boss is so rough. Um, I think I might have to do another stage to see if I can get like uh, some character to do more damage. Um, obviously, I feel that you can do this boss without any help, but the patterns uh, for the boss to like come close to you, it is rough. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to see, like, what kind of attack he's, the, he's doing, but it's really difficult to tell beforehand, so... Uh, because I think you need to slide under the throwing stars, because jumping does not seem to work for me. Uh, he jumps four times towards you, and then uh, either do a slide or throwing stars, and uh, I can uh, jump over his slide... But if he does the throwing stars, um, I can't jump. I haven't been able to jump through that, and I don't. I can't tell. I think that is something that might be tweaked. This is made by like I don't know two people or something like that. Very in the game. Um, some more, more indic, some of the more of an indication of what the hell is going to happen, uh, because it seems that it's very random. So I'm probably not gonna... I'm not gonna make this boss. Actually, this boss is just kicking my ass. So I can't tell what he's doing. <laughs> I, I have no idea what kind of attack he's doing. Um... Yeah, I can't tell. Um, I can't tell before uh, what's gonna happen. Uh, yeah, I can't. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I cannot tell if it is the throwing stars or if it is uh, the slide attack. I need more of some kind of uh, flashing or animation, and then I would think that this boss would be really fine. Right now, I. I, I'm not a fan of the boss. I think the stage, graphical, and everything is great. But the boss here, I don't know. I'm not. I can't get get this, get down with this, like. So a high jump, 
is a slide. I don't know. I, I can't I can't really tell exactly if there is any way to tell what attack. I'm not seeing it. Um, unfortunately, I'm not seeing what type of attack is happening. Here. to slide six lives and I cannot uh, get this boss here uh, it's a rough really rough um, again if you have uh, maybe a different power-ups it, it might be good and helpful here so we're gonna try a different stage see. Uh, but this I feel this this would be a cool boss if it just all that's needed is a little bit more some more indication of what the hell is the attack that is coming too rough and you if you press continue you will go all the way back to the start of the stage um i think that it should have been a quality of life option to have checkpoints like him yeah instead of life have checkpoints uh maybe that's the easy mode but i don't know yeah i have no clue um but yeah, brutal. Absolutely brutal. Cool boss, but if it was just something to trigger you... That I, I don't know what I'm, if I'm missing something, but if, if it was just something like showing me the attacks coming, it would have been a really fun one. For that's been the only thing that I like have some kind of problem with. It is with uh, that boss, the animations before attacking. <clears throat> that I'm just not. I'm not seeing. I'm trying to see, but I cannot see what attack is coming. This is... Okay, sometimes I couldn't jump. A little bit weird because it kept like pushing me between two of these blocks. Again, that's something that also could have made these blocks maybe a bit wider so that wouldn't have happened. Uh, nice little things. Just minor things. Yeah, 
It only has minor things again that, that I would really would have liked for this game to incorporate so far. Great, you know, the music and everything is great. Controls uh, feels good. The art style is interesting. Enemies, uh, you know, are, are interesting also. Whoa. Obviously there is some the bug with the menu that would be nice to get fixed, but uh, to get past that, it's just to come down to the boss so far to be the big thing. It also looks like if you look to the left, uh, top left, you can see my health meter, and it looks like there's a black bar, meaning I don't have full HP, but I do have full HP. I wish that that was not the case, that it was filled up all the way. Oh, he fell down there. how you're supposed to get that. Probably from a different place. Oh shit. So this is obviously a free game, so you can't really complain too much or anything, but it's just the things that I think is good quality of life that would make this appeal to a larger audience. Checkpoints mode as an option instead of lives. So checkpoints check may be halfway to the level and then at the boss. Um, so that, you know, that would be more interesting, more fun to, you know, try the boss more times. Um, and then that boss in particular, you know, more clear, like, something more clear, I, I don't know, again, I might miss, but what attack is coming, because then it would have been a fun boss. Uh, and then the, the the wavy floor made the price a bit wider, so you, I got, like, stuck, I couldn't jump. The felt a little bit uh, not too great. I've never seen this boss or anything, so I don't know what's gonna happen here. Bosses are rough in this one, more rough than in the normal Mega Man games. Ooh, Jesus! No idea what. Pattern I'm missing here. I don't know. <laughs> I can't. Oh, yeah, a fun game. It's free for you to try, but I so far I haven't been able to do any of the bosses. The stages are fun fine and everything, but the bosses are brutal here. They were brutal in like normal Mega Man also, but here they are another level.
Okay, maybe I see it. We get some kind of pattern down here. <laughs> okay, might be my first boss I'm making here. Very slow. Okay, not sure what happened there. Different pattern. Maybe I can make it anyway. Yeah, okay. No, I don't... No. Okay, the first boss. Close to death here also. I don't know the change pattern halfway. I didn't really get how to do that. I'm sure th that boss was much more more understandable because you could uh, you could read it a little bit better yeah there's something wrong here with the scaling here I can't return to title screen I don't know if it's saved I'm hoping it's saved don't know what the kind of um, power-up I've got now. Oh. oh, there we go. Thank you. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Um, so hopefully it's saved. Let's go. Okay. Let's see. Time Man. <laughs> the stages has been fine pretty much overall. Can switch character. Okay, so that does that. And you have this one, and you have a hot swap uh, kind of thing. So how? Okay, that's how you do it. Very quick to swap, like that. has been, uh, you know, what I do enjoy the most so far. I should not have gone for that. I have fool. I forgot that. Ah, nice. Oops. Would be nice if you could, or uh, if not, like, yes, if you had a mode where you can manually save, just to make it more accessible to <laughs> people like me that might need a little bit of extra help for the boss. Oh shit, my jump didn't take there. Well, that's good, we get HP. Full HP. Okay. 
Oh, come on. I don't know what's happened with the jump. So you have some checkpoints in the, the level, but, uh, you know. But, uh, yeah, I think that it would be nice with an option to only play with checkpoints. And they... And not have to worry about the life and having checkpoints before the boss. The bosses are definitely the most tricky one. They can shoot through platforms. Uh, not a huge fan, but hey, it's, it's a game mechanic you just need to learn and adapt. <laughs> you That was uh, not worth it. Yeah, that was not worth it. Probably shouldn't even have used it here, but alright. Not sure which way to go here. Oh, that's for HP. animation that these my bullets there are staying staying there on the ground Oof. oh oh okay i see yes a little bit of hp No more HP. Um, I. Uh, no problem. It's it's a tough stage, but I don't mind it. Problem is going to be how rough the boss is, and probably gonna be quite rough. get the tank one time, okay. And you only get that one time? Oh, wow. That's, uh... That's brutal. <laughs> so that's gonna be even rougher if I get it to... I get to the boss. Mm. 
Hmm. Wow. That was awful timing. For me? Um, I still don't know. God damn it. Probably could jump over, but... Yeah, it was a small chance that it might have been a... Uh... HP refill. I'm not gonna make this boss with this HP, so... Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Yeah. Uh, interesting boss, but man did I get my ass kicked. That's a rough, a cool one. This is a nice boss. Oh yes, Woo like this boss. Well, the really nice boss. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if it's automatically saved, so I'm gonna go for a manual save. God damn! So let's do a quick save. Here we go. Okay, should be good. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick. Okay, yeah, it is a really nice uh, game and everything. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> definitely feel that the first boss that I did this one uh, was quite rough um, might be able to can I fire when I do 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 I don't know Let, let's try a new stage here I might do a let's try more of this also What the? Okay, this is floaty. Ah! Gravity. <laughs> Very good job for a small two like Persian team here. Uh oh, this looks scary. Yeah, should not have done that. Do I get my life refill now? Yeah, I do. Okay. That was probably better. I uh, should not have done that. That was stupid. You know what? We, we're gonna have to do this. <laughs> yeah, that that's... Um, 
Maybe there's a faster way, but we, we're just gonna do quick damage reset here. Because that was not a good uh, die at all. Uh, no checkpoint hitting, no nothing. There we go, let's see. Starman. fun to get that but yeah I don't uh, think it's worth the risk for me <laughs> nice enemy type Oh, so this pushes me down, so I need to be aware of that. So, have to wait for that. Right. Okay, so how do we... How do I... What? I don't know how to... There we go. Okay. Okay. So you can swoop quickly or you can use this one. I wanted to try something. You can fire. Okay. Okay, good. Then I can probably do Shadow Man. Oops. Uh. Oh. I can probably do Shadow Man next. Uh. Ooh, that's a brutal checkpoint for me here. Remember if you could when you use the time stop, could you fire in the original Mega Man game with the time stop there? Maybe you could. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not going very good. <laughs> But this is fine, you know, this is, uh, the boss I felt was, uh, you know, not my fault, the first boss there, because it was quite weird trying to see the attacks. This is obviously my, fa my fault, I know this. Uh, right.
Missed my jump. I haven't had any like real lost input here, so overall feel pretty good because you need this uh, in a game like this. You need good input. Ah, damn, that's my fault again. Uh, yeah, probably not gonna make this boss. Unfortunately, here could have used a checkpoint again. Uh, as an accessibility option to the game. <laughs> so this can be off-putting to, you know, a lot of players that having to do this uh, again and again and again. Whoa! Okay, how the hell are you supposed to make that jump? Maybe that's just a bait jump that you're not supposed to make. I don't know. Honestly, don't know. Well, yeah. Th Let's uh, switch maybe stage selects. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this with the time stopping ability on this one. Maybe I can. Or time slow down or what it was. So, just get something progress done here. Stage here, nothing crazy. Oh, that's a good luck. bit of a good luck and a little bit of a bad luck. Let's do this. Right, those are refilled. Have an extra life. Oof. music going on here. Oops, I have full HP, so I don't need to... Don't need to go for too much of... Craziness. So I have no idea which, like, recommended order or anything that you might be able to... Do, uh, that might be best to do this level in here. I'm going in blind. Ooh, scary one. I don't know why I did that. I could have just ran. Yes. Yeah, a little bit wider blocks, because you can get stuck on this one. Would have been nice to have. But you, you can stand on them a little bit better.
Don't think I can get those blocks. How do I activate this time stop? Hello? What? How? Oh. What? I've used the time, it's... he didn't seem to be slower at all. What? He was not slow. That is not slower. It's not slower. Okay, so he's weak to this, uh, so I made it anyway. But that's that's weird. That did not seem like the boss got any slower at all. I don't understand the slowdown there. Maybe it was because I was shooting that the shooting turned off and on. Uh, I, I don't know. Let's uh, form and I've done. Um, I've tried, not done. Uh, let's try this one. Might be good for the first let's try to end with this one and see what's gonna how it's gonna go. <laughs> how many lives do I have? Five lives. Okay, that's good. But what? Uh, snake blade. Okay. Those are very similar looking. Uh, could probably have made him look a little bit more different. Oops. Just a tad different to each other. That's a sneaky one. Sneaky. That's not... Oh, maybe the game... Uh, let's see if I can see if the game tries to teach me. So... Those are 
Okay. I need to remember that though with the four little dots on our falling two. Four dots are falling two. Four dots are falling blocks. Alright. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, sneaky little game, so... F <laughs> That's nice, I don't mind that. Da -da -da. Was a little bit stupid that... Okay, this looks like there's a mini boss. Yeah, a fine mini boss. Wee! I couldn't jump there, okay. I don't... Huh. Interesting. Not sure why, but it didn't let me jump. Maybe I jumped just a smidge too late or something? Um, yeah, I wasn't allowed to jump there. Maybe I could have jumped when it went down there, but for some reason I wanted to jump before I got down there. And that did not work. My jump did get eaten there. I want to get that one. Oh yeah, oh well I have I have full HP, so... I had full HP, so... I have that again. saw that one I was trying to damage boost but my jump gone damn them <laughs> ah. yeah this is definitely if you haven't played Mega Man uh, these are going to be on the rougher side so that's just the way it is Cool. All right, let's try this again. So I need to remember. Ooh. There we go. The question is, what do I need for the boss? 
Do I need blades or do I need something else? That one. <laughs> okay, but that's not working. that one that's not doing anything so i'm probably not gonna make this one so we're gonna end with me failing um Yeah, I like the the better the pattern, but that doesn't seem to work. So Buster only. Um, I'm not gonna make it, unfortunately. But I see the pattern here, and this I feel is much better. It's easier to see what's going on. Really do anything there. That's a shame. Well, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we should try one more stage just to see for for fun what's going to happen. Um. But yeah. Hmm. Unfortunately. That was a bit rush, rough, rough. So we tried that one. Didn't get to the boss on that one, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do... Maybe let's try more of this game, at least. See if I can get through, like, these main bosses one way or another. Because this is really nice. Looks a little bit broken there, if you look to the... Kind of towards the bottom right and left. Looks a bit weird. Oh, that was alive? Okay. Okay. That's the weird thing that I don't know how to... Okay, so you're just supposed to not shoot them, maybe. Maybe. Nope. Just not can't not get close to them, okay. Not the enemy that's particularly fond of, but alright, that's something you can't you probably not gonna li like every every enemy in a game, so I'm guessing this takes me up. Okay. Oof. What? <laughs> That's a rough jump to do. Very rough. 
Right, so you'll stay away from those. That's all you can do. I have already full of everything. They're definitely rough. You know Ooh, the yams here. What? That's a very interesting timing here. <laughs> Yeah, they could have made this again, the timing here, this this feels not really nice. A little bit more like the bubble yas coming out of the water then bursting to give you a little bit of headroom there. That did not feel really that amazing. Okay, these are falling blocks. Uh, had been a very little thing that really like felt uh, really balanced so far. So that's good. It definitely is room for improvements. Oh right, I have well, everything. Damn it. It. I want to bait that one away. Wow. That's... This stage is really... Mo Just like the Pharaoh, definitely bumping up the difficulty here. Holy. Those yams are quite something. Uh, the yams are one thing, you know. That's not... It's difficult, it's a choice, you know, of the game, but... Uh, but the bubbles, those fans just not as good balanced. The jumps here I can more get down with. Ouch. I've got. Yeah, but we thank for watching. You can try this as well yourself. It's gonna be a link down below. Um, but uh, overall, you know, and especially for a free fan-made game, it's a uh, really, uh, really well done. So you know, you can check back to the channel if you wanna see me do more Let's Try and Let's Plays. You just uh, yeah, check back, follow the channel if you don't wanna miss more. This is going so bad. More of stuff like this. I don't know how to not take damage on that one. Uh. So leave a like and a comment if you want. Do, 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 do.
But yeah, we are coming up, coming up to the end here, so... Ooh. When I die here, um, or if I would some miraculous way make it, that's gonna be it for the video then. You have a few lives left here, two lives. Okay, so you're this way, so let's go. But be aware, this game is not gonna be the most easiest game. <clears throat> you kidding me? This is so stop. Oh my god. What the freak, dude? Man, that's a rough. Let's just use it. We're not gonna make it anyway, it's fine. <laughs> Holy hell, that's some rough yum. Oof. What is a bee? I don't think I can go for that one. Yeah, I'm not gonna make the B jump anyway, so... <laughs> I'm gonna not even make it to the boss on this one. Yeah, again, I think they... Adding a checkpoint and not life as an accessibility would really be a nice little addition here. Um... Nothing that would damage the games in any kind of way. It's just uh, being this kind of brutal, like the classic, is kind of might take a few, well, you know, make people uh, get a little bit scared off. And you know, as an accessibility option, would be really nice. Let's try to return to this stage. Oops. Yeah, with the checkpoint based option, I think more would have played this, would play this game. So it's nothing that's bad to have. <laughs> oh, I had to go. Yeah, okay, game over. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this is it. Stay tuned. I'm gonna do a try more. It's fun, um, but probably not gonna do a playthrough to begin to begin a game like this uh, yeah and you know it was fun back in the day with that's what you had and it was working with less memory available and stuff like that for the games but you know things have evolved and I think that having checkpoints is not a bad thing that has happened to modern games um, so you know this kind of old school thing it has its charm and everything, but I think modern games, if you're gonna do... You don't have to replicate everything of the old games. You're gonna add some... I need some, again, accessibility options. 
to broaden uh, the layer base uh, because I would have dug in more into this with you know some more checkpoints again mid checkpoints at the stage and then checkpoints at the boss and then you know you have the difficulty with more enemies or more pits and that's perfectly fine um, and you can also have this life again the mode that is life based that you can have that would have been really great for me other than that you know most are good here uh, the boss first boss that I tried is still the one where I felt a little bit like more of like animations showing me what attack and I would have think that would have been an awesome boss I kind of just got the right power up and uh, you know were able to power through it or damage through it so but it is free it's good it's solid some weird thing happening here with the menu. Uh, could be Windows 11, could be my Nvidia graphics card. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, that's the biggest one of the biggest things is that one. The menu that I can't see some of the options they are being not correctly centered. But yeah, thanks for watching. So try this yourself. Really nice, cool retro game. And stay tuned for more stuff coming on the channel. And until then, have a great day and bye for now.